How do you create a carousel post for LinkedIn? Today, I'm going to show you not only how to create a carousel post, but also what kind of content works for LinkedIn. And then we're going to go to LinkedIn and we're going to post it on the LinkedIn company page. So taking you really through the entire process, creating the carousel post, ideas for content and what to share on it, and then through to posting on the company page. So stay through the end so you can just check those little nuances. My name is Louise Brogan. I am the host of LinkedIn with Louise and you are very welcome to the channel. I, am, I share weekly videos on how to use LinkedIn for business. Um, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell and let's get stuck into our training. We are going to make a carousel post for LinkedIn and we're actually starting with content that I've written about for the article that I'm going to embed the carousel video into. So my article I'm actually writing about is about content marketing for LinkedIn. So it's a bit, this is a bit meta, I admit. But this, this list, this bullet point list is the content that I'm going to use to make the carousel post. And what I'm going to use for it is my old friend, Canva. So we're going to go into Canva and we are going to go to templates and we're going to pick a presentation. So business and then presentations here. Mm -hmm. So you've got lots and lots of ones down the bottom here that you have got um, different, really different um, examples that you can use. And what the way a carousel post really makes an impact on LinkedIn is if it's got block text um, and it's easy to read. So we're looking for one that's really got like a nice LinkedIn style text, if that makes sense. Um, now you do want to think about, well, what is my branding? What are my colors? And use that. And I quite like this one here. So let's pick this example here. And those are not anywhere near my colors. Let's come out of there. Uh, so you can basically click on these and you'll see the different formats they have along the bottom. Let's have a look at this. This could work for me. So full mock-up sales marketing presentations. Let's pick this one and, and click on customize. And if you remember, the content we're using for this carousel post is a mix of content to share on LinkedIn. So I'm going to copy this bullet point list here. To copy, uh, you just click um, Control C to copy. And we'll go back to here. And where is our carousel post? So. Here's all the different images that you can use here. And we are going to change this how to create a carousel post for LinkedIn. Okay. And then just edit it around here and make sure the size fits. Okay. And I have my own fonts that I use. So I pick those. And if you've never used Canva before, this is where you can really pull things about and move them to fit. There we go. Um, using, let's type in here, using Canva. Okay, so remember, I want to stick with my color schemes. So my palette colors are here. It's a little bit dark. I think maybe the yellow will stick out a bit more. I'll go here and we'll change that to the blue. Okay, um, and then the images are not suiting me at all. So we'll go in here, we'll take that image out. So yes, it does take a little bit of time to do, and you don't have to do one with images. So you could um, have one just with text. So I will just speed this up a little bit. Bear due the dragging and dropping of the photographs here. So how to create a carousel post for LinkedIn, and you see I've replaced the flower images with my own image. How I do that, so I went down and I picked out pictures that I wanted to use, and I literally pull them into the space like that. Um, so that's a really handy tool. So that's my first slide, and then what we want to do is now we've got our bullet points. So let's pull out the first bullet point, which is um, content, company news. I'm not going to start with company news, actually. I'll start blog contents and articles. Okay. Oops, sorry. Um, okay. So 
um, how to create a con, con a carousel post for LinkedIn. So that's not actually this is about. So we're, this is about um, what kind of content can you share on LinkedIn? There we go. Apologies. <laughs> so blog contents and articles. Uh huh. And just take this out. So because this is a carousel post, you want it to be nice big text, okay? And we'll just go over here and we'll type in blogging. And you get your free images. Okay. And you literally hook over like that. And that's it. So I'm going to pull all of these across and then I'm going to show you how I upload this to LinkedIn. Okay, and the next one is going to be case studies from your own clients. Remember to check, just get your fonts and your colors correct the whole way through so that it fits your branding. Um, and just literally clicking on the outside bit, that's where you go and then you just click on your own color. Now I do have other colors that work within my business as well. So this is my secondary palette, <laughs> my core palette if you like. So, so far we've got, what kind of content can you share on LinkedIn? Uh, blog content articles, that is not the right font. Change it. Make sure that it fits. Oops. So slight adjustment. Um, webinars with your senior team. Again, check in the font. And uh, maybe get a bit of background color in there as well, actually rather than having it white and we'll go down to the color palettes polls questions and requests for feedback uh, industry news and research case studies from your own clients and um, what was our final ones we had um eye-catching visuals and statistics perfect so let's add that one in um okay paste and slightly smaller okay check the font uh -huh. delete delete and then when you move this around you can see it's squared off with the grid that canva gives you and we are using that blurry picture new 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 um let's see so sticks and Maybe, hmm, what one there? What's well, a video? I don't think we want a video, do we? No, I don't want a video because that is just a little bit more confusing. There we go. All right, so that is going to be, um, that's it. We don't need the rest of these. Just delete this out. Okay, meet our team. Da -da -da and the end so um what content are you creating for your company page today because i've decided this is going to be for my linkedin company page this post and basically because i just uh, created a car i created a post for my um personal profile earlier so carousel post for LinkedIn company page and I'm going to take it over I'm going to download it and I'm going to take it over to LinkedIn and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use that as a carousel post on LinkedIn and then we'll see what it looks like as the final game so that's what's next so now we're over on LinkedIn and I'll just start at the home screen this is the home screen and I'm going to share this on my company page. So let's go to the company page, link in with Louise. And if you're watching this and you want to come and follow the company page, you are very welcome to come and follow us. This is what it looks like as the host of the page. As a member, it looks like this to you. So let's go back in view as admin. And what I want to do is go down to start a post. And you'll notice that there are no options for documents here down at the bottom. So don't despair. Go in to create a post. And again, let's see, there we are. We can add a document here or click on here and add a document here. So remember your carousel that we have made is a, um, it's a PDF. So it is. So let's just go find it. 
carousel for LinkedIn. Here we go. And uploads, so it's uploading it. Add a descriptive title to your document. How to create content for LinkedIn. Wasn't that what we talked about? What kind of content can you share on LinkedIn? Not how to create. <laughs> what kind of content can you share on LinkedIn? Okay, uh, maybe a short guide. A short guide. Ooh, 58 characters. Oh, that's good to know. Um, a guide. What about a guide. All right. So for accessibility purposes, LinkedIn members who can view your post will be able to download your document as a PDF. So when I scroll over it like this, this when the user does this and they click on this button here, it opens up the whole document and people can download it and print it off and save it and do whatever they want with it. And let's just check all our pages are here. Yep, they are. Just one last check, everything looks fine. Okay, and then go and click done. This is not, you have not posted yet. Now we need to write your post. So, um, what kind of content can you create for LinkedIn? Oops, I have created this short carousel post. Now everyone knows what a carousel post is. Let's just say that in carousel post for the company page while making a video on how to create carousels. I will link to the video below once complete. Well, and then always ask a question when you're posting on something on LinkedIn so it invites your audience to um, have a conversation with you. What um, types of content do you share? Let me know below. Now be aware that because I'm posting this on my company page, it will get far less engagement than it gets when I share on my personal profile. And that's really because multiple reasons, content on company pages does tend to get less engagement. Um, but also I am very, very active on my personal profile. I probably post maybe once a week or so um, on the company page. So people, uh, are less engaged with the company page overall. Okay, so I'm putting my hashtags in. Let's see, uh, those should do. We're ready to go, and now we're going to create post. And that's it done. So um, scroll down, there it is, my carousel post. And if you're watching this and you've enjoyed this video, then pop over to the company page and see if you can find the post and uh, leave a wee comment. Um, so let me see. Also, tell me in the comments below if you have created carousel posts for LinkedIn, what kind you've created, how you've used it, have you used Canva, have you got other tips for people? Um, let's, let's get talking about this. I want to know from you. Um, and also, so that you don't miss out on any further videos, make sure you hit subscribe and the little bell and come join us in the community tab, which is new, so we can talk about this together. All right, thanks guys. Hope you find this useful.